Do you have some rusty tools around your shop that you'd like to get cleaned up? Well, I want to introduce you to Evaporust. This is an easy to use rust remover that works great for so many different applications like cutting tools, machinery parts, hand tools, even things like antiques, antique hardware, automotive parts, cast iron cookware, barbecue grills, even firearms. And it's not going to hurt metals like aluminum, bronze, brass, or copper, or even materials such as rubber, plastic, and vinyl. It's really easy to use. You simply need to take a container and you take your tool or item, set it in the container, and then fill it up with the evaporust until it completely covers the item. And then you cover it, walk away. Whenever you come back, you're gonna remove that item from the evaporust and you're gonna rinse it with some fresh water. It's gonna remove the rust on there and that's it. Matter of fact, let me pull you in here and demonstrate how it works. All right, so I have a plastic container here. I've also got my gloves on and the tools I'm gonna to clean up. I have a couple of uh, taper sink drills and you can see that's very heavily rusted. We're just gonna start setting these tools down in there. Also have a uh, Morse taper reducer sleeve that's very heavily rusted. We have an Acme tap. We also have some wrenches here, pretty heavily rusted as well. So some of the other features of the Evaporust is that it doesn't contain any petroleum solvents. It's water-based. It's not corrosive. It's not flammable. All right, so we're completely submerged now. So we're gonna simply, what I wanna do, I'm just gonna put a lid on this and I'm gonna wait. We're gonna come back after some time and we're gonna pull these out and see what they look like. Okay, so we've done a long overnight soak with our tools and I generally do that for a really uh, rusted tools like I showed right here. So that's looking pretty good. It looks like it's uh, worked real well. So we're gonna remove the tools from the solution and I'm gonna rinse them with some fresh water to remove the carbon that's on them. But let's take a look here. You can see that the rust that was formed on the wrench has now been left with is like carbon dust there. And all you have to do is just rinse it off. This was our Morse taper reducer sleeve and it looks, it looks good. That was a heavily rusted part there. Our taper shank drill, that looks great. Other taper shank drill, that thing looks brand new now. This is our Acme tap. You can see where it had some rust on there. And one more wrench here. So once they've completed the soak, I usually take them and rinse them with some fresh water like this. It's gonna help rinse off the carbon dust. And it does help if you'll take a brush like this, just a plastic brush, and just give it a little brush. And what that helps do is remove the residue that's still on there or the what's left of the rust. So there we go. Our rusty tools are now clean, free of rust, and ready to put back in the service. That thing looks brand new again. I will suggest that after you rinse them with the fresh water to go ahead and dry them thoroughly. You can use a cloth for this, even compressed air. Just get them nice and dry. And I also suggest that I would coat them down with some type of rust inhibitor, and that'll help keep any kind of flash rusting from forming on this because it is bare metal. A product like the Evapor Rust Rust Block works really well for that. One more thing to keep in mind, you can use your Evaporust over and over again. So after you use this, you can put it back in the container and save it. It's gonna be waiting for you for those next restoration projects. So go out and pick you up some Evaporust. I know you're gonna enjoy using it around your home or workplace.